you know what? Since I need attention to myself, or since people seem to think I need attention, which I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Should I talk about all the hot topics in the media? Or am I not good at that? This is a girl. She have a show called... Uh, I, I don't know if she want me to talk about her show. But I have watched it evolve. And I kid you not. She have been doing her channel for was this, 2021. I think um, 13, at least 13 years. That is a long time. No. Not 13 years. 10 years. Yeah, that's not that long. That's not that long. She's been on her channel a long time, but you would not believe her success. I'm talking about some mega success. I'm talking about mega success on YouTube. And... How long I've been doing this? Two years. <clears throat> I'm definitely. I think I need to take a class. <laughs> I think I need to take a class. I'm gonna try one of them classes. What is that? Skillshare and um. Yeah, several classes class websites that you can actually take a class on LinkedIn is one Skillshare is another one. But there's another I think your master class is one, but there's another one. This real simple, real easy. I can't think of the name. You did me. That's it. You did me. I might have to try that one. It's real simple, it's real easy and I'm but I'm gonna look at all of them and see which one be the best one. I like I, I learned a lot on LinkedIn. They have some really great stuff on there. Some really, really great stuff on LinkedIn. So, so if indeed, if indeed, I need to say something, is anybody going to care? I don't think anybody's going to care. You know, I was thinking about this girl. She had took a picture at the top of some building. And I'm like, is she trying to get attention? But you know what? I really had the impression she wanted to kill herself in front of the whole world. She, didn't, she wasn't trying to get attention. But you know what I was thinking about? Should I say something violent to You know, I'm looking at the media. And everybody sweeping me under the rug. And I done told them what time it was. <laughs> I, done told them, I done told them what time it is. And they done sweeping me under the rug. But, um, you know, when you're dealing with a parent, that's a tricky thing. Because we're more, we should, should we be more shocked when a parent doesn't care? Think about it. You wouldn't want to run into a mother bear, would you? You wouldn't want to run into a mother bear. I think it's more shocking when a parent doesn't care. But uh, I, I I was watching the documentary. I didn't watch the documentary. I was watching them talk about the documentary. And they got in that way. They say Musima went up in there and was, finna, was trying to handle up on somebody. Let me tell you something. Because they were saying something about his children. That's kind of tricky. That's kind of tricky. Because like I said, you wouldn't want to run into a mother bear or a papa bear, would you? You know what I'm saying? A parent that doesn't care is probably not the parent that you want to be around. But is it is it justified? Does it justify breaking the law? Well, I always recommend. The Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says, there is safety in a multitude of counselors. Ask somebody. Ask somebody. Some, some people won't tell you. Some people are not going to tell you how they did something. I remember this boy, he made a perfect score on the ACT. And I went up to him and said, hey, young man, how did you do that? And he said, you know what I did? I'm not going to tell you what he did because he may not want the whole world to know. But he said he had a strategy for it. And it was a year of hard, a lot of hard work. 
And it's believable. I don't know how you can get a perfect score. That's a perfect score. 36 is a perfect score. Every answer, right? I'm not sure how you can do that, but I've I've always followed the strategic rules of taking the test. Answer all the questions you know. This is the strategy. Answer all the questions that you know. You go back to the questions that are more difficult, and then you go back and guess. And then if there's still time, you go back again. Just go back. You know what I'm saying? But when you go back that forward time, don't change anything unless you're sure. Yeah. And that's the definite strategy. So he he's, he had a strategy. But I don't know if he wanted me to tell everyone. But it, there are ACT camps. There's so many ACT camps that I probably don't have to tell his secret. But But what's in the news that we can't believe? This Brad Pitt and Angelina stuff. You think Brad hit her? He might have screamed that bitch if you don't shit your fucking mouth. <laughs> he might have he might have screamed at that ass a little bit. Bitch, I'll beat you to death. <laughs> we all get mad like that sometimes. No, I, 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 you know, I have to be honest. I have never told my significant other. Or my boyfriend or my fiance that I would beat his ass. <laughs> but I have to be honest. When I get that angry, it's time for you to go. If I'm that angry, it's time for your ass to go. <laughs> you know, we, we, we lay in the house, we lay in the bed laughing and talking and enjoying life. <laughs> you know, if I'm that angry, then I don't need to be together. So it's hard for me to believe that he hit her. Cynthia, why would she say that? I don't know, but but I think that the good thing here is that the children are almost adults. That's the good thing here. Now, she do have some little ones. She do have some little ones. She do have some little ones, you know. Um, you know. I think, I don't know what, I don't know what happened. I don't want to guess on it. I just think that, um, I don't want to speculate on that because it's so painful. You know what I'm saying? But if we did speculate, just for a minute, just for one minute, I'm going to time myself. I'm going to give myself one minute to speculate on what could happen. Children, as they become adults, can be difficult to reach in that stage in that, between that child and that adult stage. They can be difficult to reach. And Sometimes they can be headstrong. I think that maybe those big boys were hard to, to discipline. Those big boys might have been difficult to discipline. And it might have scared her shitless when he wanted when he wanted to when he wanted to handle up on it. You know what I'm saying? Might have scared her. That might have scared her. But I've had some difficulty with my son. Not a lot. Oh, no, that's not a difficult child. He's not a difficult child, but between that, ch that change between childhood and adulthood was difficult. Um, and not to mention, we have a lot of things that we're dealing with, you know. And he, like, he can offer up commentary. You know what I'm saying? But me and him had got to the point where if I answer him back, he will make me lose my temper. So I should let him say the little shit he want to say. And sometimes you have to do that. Instead of instead of thinking you're gonna discipline an adult. Instead of thinking you're gonna discipline an adult. Oh let's say if you let shit the things you wanna say. <laughs> let me quit acting a fool. Let me quit acting a fool. That's not fun of people hurting. But I'm, that's all I'm gonna say about what I think happened. I don't know what happened. I'm going to end it right there. I don't know what happened. I don't need to speculate about it. But, but, um, 
I think that's very painful. I think it's very painful. You know, if it's true, that's, then, you know, I wish they would have found some help. A mediator of some kind. I used to see my neighbor slapping his wife, and I would call her mama. Her mama come over there, and she was a little bit of lady. And, ba and he was like his bill. He was a former football player. He was a big old man. And his mama, her mama was a little bit of lady. And she'll, she'll say something, and he'll fall down on the ground and start crying. <laughs> but, but, um, I was young at the time. I probably shouldn't have interfered in any way. But I thought in my mind I need to call her mom because he finna beat the hell out of her. But um, now that I think about it, I probably wouldn't interfere with that in any way unless if I call anybody to be the police. You know what I'm saying? But but um. That's just, you know, I wish I wish they would have had a mediator because they do still have some little ones. You know what I'm saying? They, the twin, I think the twins are little. And then uh, to two uh, teenagers, and two teenagers. So they do still have some little ones. So it would be been great if they had a mediator, you know, to help them out with it. But do I believe he hit her? Well, I don't know. I mean, just imagine. I mean, you think she going to sit down and let him hit on her? You think you're going to let him hit on her? It's tricky. That's tricky. That's real tricky. It's real tricky. You know, hopefully, hopefully no one gets hurt in that. You know what I'm saying? I hope no one gets hurt. You know, people can get hurt. If a man think a woman, a fight back, he might hurt them. You know what I'm saying? So maybe she look like she's strong, but maybe her mind tell her don't fight him back because he might hurt me. You know what I'm saying? I seen a newsless man. This man uh, killed his wife in her sleep. Let me see if I don't want to get no crazy fool, no idea. You know what I'm saying? But I guess maybe that's why it's on her part. You know what I'm saying? Because I, let's go, let's go. What you got? In this corner. In this corner stands mama. In this corner stands daddy. What's good? What, give it your best shot, boo. You know what you gonna do? You know, I, I'll fight back, me. You know, but I have gotten into it where I have. It's somebody that, that pride can't take losing the argument. You know, I've, I've been into it that way. Where the man can't take losing the argument. But because I'm a praying woman, God have brought me through that situation. God brought me through that situation. You know. And I don't sit around people that, you know, that's violent. I don't, you know, if it, if it like I said, if it gets to that, I'll, you know, just go ahead on about your business, you know. But we don't know what happened. A lot of this, uh, their relationship is a secret. We had no idea about that. We don't. Well, we, see, we see them going to the walls, come on. That's all we see. You know, I mean, we hear stuff, but we don't know nothing about those people. So it's no way to know what, what happened, but I feel bad for them. I feel bad for them. You know what I'm saying? I, do I believe he hit? I don't believe he hit. I believe he hit. I believe it was something with the children. He might have tried to discipline the children. And she didn't know how to deal with it. You know? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It, it went from get, taking a little switch to putting his foot up their ass, you know what I'm saying? And she couldn't take it. You know, put nobody, put your foot in nobody's I mean, shit. Yeah, I put foot. Put... <laughs> 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 I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you don't know McKinley, baby. You don't know McKinley. My uncle was almost 50 years old. And McKinley say do something. Uh, call it done. And call it done. And call it done. Yes, sir. 
You ain't so papa. 50 years old, baby. I'm getting to put a foot. Put my city, put two foots. But, um. Yeah, I just think, I just think that could be possible. You know. Do she accuse him of domestic violence? Well, maybe she ain't accuse him of domestic violence. They, that's what the news say. Where they got they, where did they get that from? Where did they get that from? The court transcript saying she accused him of domestic violence. Child, somebody, that's heartbreaking. Somebody who will say that about you, don't give a fuck about you, and don't ever want to see you again. Baby, we got kids together. We got to work this out. You're going to have to see me again, honey. You're going to have to see me again because you have my children. Bitch, if I hit you, I'm finna hit you now. You got my fucking children. Baby, come in there and beat the hell out of you. Well, <laughs> I'm not funny. I am not funny. I thought I was a chameleon. But I see why the chick is not in the mix. <laughs> I'm not funny. <laughs> Guess what's that funny? Who's that? I need to talk about somebody else. Why people, why people kidding me with that shit? Why ain't saying about niggas? Well, it just so happens. <laughs> the nigga that did something I need to talk about. Hey, it ain't Murphy. See, it ain't Murphy that comes to America. What the hell? What the hell is you baby doing to Eddie Murphy? You see Eddie Murphy? Eddie Murphy been looking healthy and smiling, yo. She, she must got in the mirror. Get your ass up and feed it, baby. <laughs> That's how I was when I had my job. I would, if they ass woke up crying, they woke up, they just woke up crying. So my mom would get up and feed the baby or something. She must have Eddie Murphy. She must have Eddie Murphy waking up and feeding the baby. In the middle of the night. Boy, Eddie Murphy, look, he look good. A hot mess. He looked a hot mess up in that movie. He looked a hot mess. But maybe, you know, the pandemic is taking a, a different kind of toll on his mind. I don't know. Maybe it's taking a different kind of toll on his mind. I don't know. But, um, yeah, life is taking a toll on people. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, the Bible says the last days, perilous times shall come. Ain't nobody in that movie look like nothing to write home about. I hate to say it. They should, they should have put that on the back burner for a little while. Not because of the pandemic, but because nobody seemed to want to give it their best. It's just like they stole this shit together. I ain't trying to be funny. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to be critical with any filmmakers. And then they just stole that shit together. Come on now. This man was, is, was one time under the top there is. I'm sensing an attack on somebody. I don't know what they think I'm going to give for talking about. Come you know, I, I don't. When I say I practice holiness, I really do. I know I be bull crapping a lot. I do. I bull crap a lot. But I, ask anybody that know me. I've been, I've been, I was called a little goofy, silly girl at school because I like to laugh and joke around. People think that's an insult, and it probably was an insult. But that's what they call me. Oh, that's oh, you so silly. Oh, you so goofy. And and, and this is coming from a damn teacher. I mean, I've always been known as the goofy silly one because I was always joking around, even from a little bitty girl. So a good joke just keeps me going, you know. But I really do practice holiness. I know I say a lot of foolishness. Could take into consideration the environment that I live in. I live in quite an interesting environment. I don't live as bad as some. I heard some woman to describe her walk to work. In my mind, is saying. And it's the country town, you know, you can, you know, you might can pay one of your church members, you know, well, look how much will you charge me every, well, 125 hours, so when I get paid next Friday, because you get up and bring me to work and pick me up, I'll pay you 125 that's what I'm saying, she, when I get my check, so then the 250 dollars keep a little gas in their car and a little whatever else they need, you know, and all they do is pick me up on my work, let you know I work four days and I'm off for two days. Pick me up and, and bring me to work. Child, I'm sensing, really sensing somebody really coming against me. I'm sensing a black man. I don't know what you think I'm going to get by talking from Eddie Murphy. But I, I don't need that to get sex. This is my point I'm making. I don't need that to get sex with nobody. 
I'm really, I'm living a whole life. Oh, what's up? This is what you want to do if you want to meet somebody. If I want to meet somebody, I go do it right now. Trust me when I tell you. I have suitors right now. Right now, suitors, you wouldn't believe at my age. You wouldn't believe it if I, if I go get them and tell them, let's get in the bed and roll the cameras. I kid you not. I kid you not. But but I do I do say when I say that. I say if I get in the bed about 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 it's the tip of the Holy Ghost. And you have to think about can we do can we keep the Holy Ghost in our body doing some of the things that we want to do? Some of the stuff you do with your husband. You have to wonder if the Holy Ghost is gonna leave. But the Bible says the marriage bed is undefiled. The marriage bed is under fire. So if you're doing it with your husband, then be, then do, do it. Do it all night. Do it all night and all day. You know? Because the Bible said the marriage bed is under fire. Well, I don't know what people really think they're going to get. I don't know. I, I truly don't know what people think I'm going to get. But why do you think it's something sexual? I don't know. People might think I'm going to get some money, huh? For saying somebody Eddie Murphy. Child. Really think I'm going to call Eddie Murphy and ask him to help me make a move. I might as well. They, I kid you not, they mess up color purple. Mess up color purple. I don't think anyone would be interested in this genre that I would write. You know. I mean, it might. I could try. I could write his agent a letter and see, you know, at least what he would recommend. He might say, he might not say, well, I ain't in that, but I, I recommend X, Y, Z. You know, I don't know. I don't know if it takes time to ask him. But... But do I want to talk to him? And in fact, he ain't really saying nothing to me. You know, he might talk to people. I don't even know who he talked to. He ain't saying nothing to me. But he might talk to people if they try to say something to him. I don't know. You know, child, I seen one person. I seen this lady on Instagram. I read on the gram. But I do get on that here and there. I was on Instagram talking to this hip-hop man. And she told me she said, I need $4,000. I'm like, well, how is she going to just come straight out and ask the <laughs> How she going to come straight and ask the baby for $4,000? So if he answered her, he answered answer her then in front of people. Child, I was watching the news, and they said it's a woman that got a child for the man. She's got a brand new son. And they said it's the woman that had asked him. So he must have went and met her. Oh, yeah, they give you some money. <laughs> give you some money, baby. You cute. And you doing something for her. I'm too through. I'll say I'm too through. It's a man got a baby now. Nah. For the woman that can ask for the money. Go ahead on. Go ahead on, girl. Got a, now she can get plenty of money out. Huh? They get plenty of money she needed. But anyway, you know, I don't, I'm not sure. You know, I have no idea. I don't even know how to write in the mirror for that. I, I'm stupid. He have a... Uh, you know, a couple that represent him, you know, they, they can give him fan mail or something. I don't know. But I don't think he'd be interested in his job. I would like, you know, but I could ask him, you know, what he recommend. I don't know. But from sitting here, from, from working on this freelance project, the only thing I think I can do, if I'm trying to start a YouTube channel, a former channel, I can just, what you call it, hands on? Hey, just some hands on. Just some hands on. That's all I can. That's all way I see it. I, that's why. That's my mind is telling me. But who knows? He may know somebody. I don't think. So. I'm probably not during the pandemic. At the quite at the moment. Quite not. Quite not right at the moment. You know. But do I think these are good to get better? Oh. Um. Well, let's just have faith and move mountains. That's all I can say. Let's have faith and move mountains. You know, with God, all things are possible. And I'm going to say that and I'm going to wrap it up. Um, you know, the reason why I'm doing that is because I was saying, well, I don't, you know, this, 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 that, and about the pandemic, and this, that, and that, and the other, and that, and the other, and about COVID, and this, that, and the other, and A, B, and C. You know, but God told me, he said, speak the word. Okay. Okay, so well, I'm gonna say it like this. And I'm gonna wrap it up. With God, 
all things are possible. What's the word saying Matthew in, the, in Matthew? I think Matthew chapter, uh, I think chapter 9 or chapter 17. I need to look it up so I can know exactly where it is when I'm saying it. But I say, with God, all things are possible. I'm going to just leave it at that. But but do I do I think that Brad hit her? <sighs> he might have screamed at her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he might have yelled at her. I might have yelled at her. I do think it's some discord there. Because it, she had her breast removed. So there's a fear in her. There's a fear in her. That her family history is going to come on her. Of course that of course that'd be anybody's expectation. If that that that's gonna to happen to her. You know what I'm saying? That's anybody's expectation. Uh, as a healthcare professional I, I probably think that, that that could have been a good decision. Uh, it could have been a good decision on her part to go ahead and preemptively remove her breasts. But I think there's some discord there. But I hope he ain't hit her. Why he said some discord? Because he smoked. And you see him doing it when he was helping feed the people in Los Angeles. He was smoking a cigarette. Do you realize that smoking, even secondhand smoke, Reduces your immunity. They don't need no immunity in their home. With COVID. They don't need no immunity in their home. When she have a hereditary predisposition for breast cancer. So there is some callousness there, it appears. So if he can be that heartless, Cynthia, to compromise his family immunity, you think he would hit them? Well... She she's gonna have to have evidence of that. But she got the big boy saying that he hit her. He might try to discipline that big boy and escape all of them. You know what I'm saying? But but when you can't switch a child, sometimes you think you're gonna put your hands on them. You know. But my mama never really whooped us. She 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 would whoop us um here and there. I say maybe we gotta whoop him once a year. But other, but discipline she would just make us go stand in the corner and read the Bible. And then she, we can't come. I know that, that sounds like Carrie. Mom put it in the closet and she got to read the Bible. She, we would. We had to go stand up in the corner and read the Bible. And we can't leave until we tell her what we did wrong. And I would, it was time I had no idea what I did wrong. But I would stand up there and make something up. I ain't going never do it again, Mom. What you did? I oh, I shouldn't have did. I shouldn't have said. You know, I don't know what I said, but all I know is I want to get out the corner. Well, since what would happen? You can see all the kids outside having fun, and all I you know what I had did wrong hand for the time. But we didn't really get beatings. Here and there we did. But um, I wish they can work that out because, like I said, they had children together. But if he did here, that's gonna be hard to work out. If he did here, that's gonna be hard to work out. If he didn't here, then it's a horrible thing to see about somebody. How can you? I would never want to speak to no one like that again who will accuse me of beating them. But if they had children. Definitely, definitely gonna have to be a mediator. Go get your mama. I don't know. I think his mama was at the Oscar. Go get your mama to go with your city children. Go get your mama to go with your city children because she don't give a fuck about you. She didn't told people you didn't beat on them. If you did do it, then I still would. I wouldn't go around about myself. I wouldn't go around about myself. Get your mama to go with your city children. She's telling people you didn't be no huh? If I heard that, I like to make a joke, but I ain't funny. So let me leave it alone. Let me leave it alone. But anyway, yeah, they're dealing with a lot. They're dealing with a lot, you know. 
they done went a whole lot of stuff. But I don't know how they can even live in Los Angeles. But I guess if you have money, you live a nice life on top of the hill. People, couldn't people live on the street? The government officials ain't worth an, a quarter. The government officials aren't worth a 25 cents. What in the world is going on? People can't, people can't take a walk. So you need a car I'm talking about taking a walk somewhere. You're right. You're right. But I suspect if it weren't homeless on the street, would the streets even be nice enough to take a little walk and get you a cup of coffee and a magazine and sit on the bench? Child, they ain't know where I want to be. The big city ain't know where I want to be. I say the big city ain't know where I want to be. Unbelievable. Unbelievable what's going on there. Well, that's her hometown, and she chilling on a hill. And she probably used to all that foolishness that happens in her hometown. I, I just need to read my Bible. The Bible says, in the last days, perilous times shall come. I don't know why I'm sitting here getting shot at the, the lifestyle they must live. You know what I'm saying? The streets are dirty. It's dead bodies. It's people. It's homeless people. It's drug people full of full of uh, marijuana and God knows what else. <clears throat> Child, they have an economic problem. Ain't nobody trying to do nothing positive. Mm-mm. And all we can do is pray. We can hope and pray. At least God is saying something positive. At least God is saying something positive. Have faith, believe, speak the word. Have faith, believe, and speak the word. And that's how I can I can reiterate. Have faith, believe, and speak the word. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let me say a prayer because I'm I'm very much a fan of of Angelina and of Brad, and I hope that um their children will come out without having to suffer, you know, scars and stuff from this this difficulty. So I just want to pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask for forgiveness for my sins and cleansing, leading God me in the right way that I should go. Lord, I just ask, the Bible said that you reign on the just and the unjust. Lord, these are good people with a good heart, and they try to do good things. They have not accepted Christ as their Savior, to my knowledge. However, the Bible is saying that you love your creation as well as your children, as they inherit the kingdom of your promises because they do as they are obedient to your word. These people steal your creation. Lord, the Bible says you reign on the just and the unjust. Lord, I just ask that you will rain on these people wisdom and blessings for the family because of the children. I don't know how you can work through something like that, through an accusation like that, or through an act like that. If a man hit his wife, I don't know how you can move past that. If the woman is not telling the truth, I don't know how you can move past that. But Lord, I just ask that you will come in this situation in your infiniteness and bless this family in the because of the children, Lord. We give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. So, that is my prayer for that family. That's my prayer for that family. And I hope they were able to move past that in a positive way. I hope they wish me well too. In, in, in what we are dealing with. I, I'm going to stand. Going to stand. There is no failure in God, so I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna stand. So anyway, with that being said, everyone have a blessed, a blessed week. And quit looking, quit being happy for bad news. All these media outlets reporting these horrible things. You want to hear something good? You want to hear something positive? 